to start with the next topic that is equivalence relation. A relation R is said to be an equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So in the previous uh, videos we have seen what is reflexive relation, what is symmetric relation and transitive relation. So if a relation is satisfying all these three properties then such a relation we call it as an equivalence relation. Example let A equals 2, 1, 2, 3 and R is a relation on A given by A cross A which is equal to 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. This is your A cross A which is a, a complete relation. So here it is a reflexive since uh, 1, 1 is there, 2, 2 is there and 3, 3 is there. It is symmetric since uh, for every A comma B, B comma A also belongs to the relation and it is transitive since for every A, B belongs to R and B, C belongs to R, A, C belongs to R. Therefore, R is an equivalence relation. Now, second problem, prove that n belongs to z plus x related to y when x minus y is a multiple of n is an equivalence relation. So, now to prove that it is reflexive, x minus x is a multiple of n. For any value of n, x minus x which is 0, 0 is a multiple of n. Therefore, r is reflexive. Next, to prove it is symmetric, if x minus y is a multiple of n, then y minus x is also a multiple of n. Therefore, when xy belongs to r, yx also belongs to r. Therefore, it is symmetric. Next, when x minus y belongs to r indicates x minus y is a multiple of n and uh, y minus z belongs to r implies y minus z is a element uh, uh, is a multiple of n so which indicates that x minus z is a multiple of n therefore x z belongs to r therefore it is a equivalence relation so likewise for other problems also you can prove the uh, relation as a equivalence relation. Next, for any finite set A, A cross A is the largest equivalence relation and if A equals to A1, A2, A n, then all the reflexive elements is the smallest equivalence relation on A. Next, congruence modulo n. So, what is the congruence modulo n says? So, let n be a positive integer. For integers a, b, we say a is congruent to b modulo n and is written as a is congruent to b mod n. That is, three lines will indicate it is congruence modulo relation. When a minus b is divisible by n or n divides a minus b. So, that is not make a note a is congruent to b mod n is equivalent to a minus b is divisible by n. It means a minus b is a multiple of n for some integer k. So, if you transfer this b to the right hand side we came to know we will get a is equal to k n plus b. So, whenever a is equal to k n plus b we say that a is congruent to b modulo n. Example congruence modulo relation modulo n is an equivalence relation r on z. So, now x minus x is 0 and 0 is divisible by n. So, which implies x comma x belongs to r. So, r is reflexive. Next, if x y belongs to r indicates x minus y is equal to k n. Then y minus x is equal to minus of x minus y which is minus of k n which is indicates y x belongs to r. Therefore, r is symmetric. Next, if x y belongs to r and if y z belongs to r implies x is equal to k 1 n plus y and y equal to k 2 n plus z and x equals to in this uh, x equal to k 1 n substitute the value of y as k 2 n plus z. So, take the common factor n. So, you will get k 1 plus k 2 into n plus z which indicates that xz belongs to R. Therefore, R is transitive. So, since R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, R is an equivalence relation. Next is a partial order relation. So, the relation R is said to be partial order relation if it is reflexive, anti-symmetric, 
and transitive. So for equivalence relation, it has to be reflexive, symmetric, transitive, whereas for partial order, it has to be reflexive, anti-symmetric and transitive. So example, less than or equal to or the real numbers and subset relation on set of subsets of Z and the divides relation on N plus is a partial order relation. So we will prove one and similar way you have to prove for the other. So first one prove that less than or equal to on R on, R on Z is a partial order relation. Suppose R is AB such that A less than or equal to B. Since A is less than or equal to A implies AA belongs to R therefore R is reflexive. If A is less than or equal to B then B is greater than a. So, if AB belongs to R, then BA does not belong to R. Therefore, R is anti-symmetric. If A less than or equal to B, B less than or equal to C, then it is obvious that A is less than or equal to C. Therefore, if AB and BC belongs to R, AC belongs to R, therefore R is transitive. Since R is reflexive, anti-symmetric and transitive, R is a partial order relation. So, likewise, the divides on R on N plus is a partial order relation. Since every number divides itself, it is reflexive. And if A divides B, then B does not divide A. So, AB belongs to R, BA does not belong to R. Therefore, R is anti-symmetric. And if A divides B and B divides C, then A divides C. Therefore, it is transitive. So, since R is reflexive, anti-symmetric and transitive, R is a partial order relation. Next is the union of two relations. So, given two relations R1 and R2, so union is given by AB such that AB belongs to R1 or AB belongs to R2. So, it is nothing but uh, the elements of R1 as well as elements of R2 written only once will form the union. Next intersection, it is R1 intersection R2 is AB such that AB belongs to R1 and AB belongs to R2. That is the common elements, the common ordered pairs of R1 and R2 will belong to R1 intersection R2. So, when we talk about operations on union and intersection, the order of the relation is immaterial. That means if you write 1, 2 first and 2, 3 next or 2, 3 first and 1, 2 next, it does not matter because it is a set. So, this we have already seen. So, if with respect to the matrix form, the union will be how the union of the two relation uh, matrices can be done is. So, wherever ones are there, you copy it in the union of both. So, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0. So, for union, if uh, any one element corresponding elements is 1, you put 1. For intersection, wherever both the matrices have 1, there only you put 1s. So, this is how you can for compute the union and intersection on the matrix representation. So these are some other examples. Next is how to compute the R square that is a power of a relation using matrix representation. So now here MR multiplied by MR. So it is M of R to the power of 2. So how you can do is it is matrix by using product of the matrices relation. So this you write it again. So perform the multiplication. So you will get this matrix which is M of R square. Then the difference of two relations. So, R1 minus R2 is nothing but ordered pair AB such that AB belongs to R1 and AB does not belong to R2. That is all ordered pairs AB such that AB belongs to R1 but it does not belong to R2. And uh, we can see that R1 minus R2 is not equivalent to R2 minus R1. So, R1 minus R2 will be different than R2 minus R1. Next is the composition of relations. So, you have three sets ABC. 
R is a relation from A to B. S is a relation from B to C. Then the composition of R and S denoted by R0S is a binary relation from A to C if and only if there is a B belongs to B such that A is related to B and B is uh, related to C with the relation S. So formally the composition R0S is written as uh, AC such that there exists B belongs to B. A relates to B with the relation R and B relates to C with the relation S where A belongs to A and C belongs to C. That is if here one is B is related to 1 and one is related to 2. So B is related to 2. Next, C is related to 6 and 6 is related to 1. So, C is related to 1. Then, C is related to 6. 6 is related to 2. So, C is related to 2. Then, D is related with 1, 2, 5, 6. And they are in turn related to 2, 4, 1 and 2. So, for D is related with all the elements. This is the composition. The composition of binary relation is associative but it is not commutative. And if a relation R on A, it is always composed with itself. So, many we, we may have R composition R is equal to R square and R composition R composition R is equal to R cube. And this is uh, called as a power of a relation which is represented by R to the power of N. Now, suppose uh, D and S be the relations on A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. D equals to A, B, B such that B equals to 5 minus A. That is B is equal to 5 minus C. Then S is equal to A comma B such that A less than B. Then we can list that D and S elements and D composition S. Yes, you start that is 1, 4 and 4, nothing is there. So, 1 with not, one with nothing. 2, 3 and uh, 3, 4. So, 2, 4 must be there. 3, 2 and 2, 3. So, 3, 3 must be there. 3, 2 and 2, 4. So, therefore, 3, 4 must be there. Likewise, you have to perform the composition. So, D maps the element A to phi minus a and afterwards s yes, maps phi minus a to all the elements larger than phi minus a resulting in d 0 s as a b such that b is greater than phi minus a. So also similarly you can find out s yes, 0 d or s yes, composition d a comma c such that a is less than b plus phi less than c. So you can start from S yes, and go to D. So, to get S0, yes, D or S composition D. For relation, we read it from uh, this way. You start from S yes and go to D. Likewise, you can take up more problems and solve the relation composition of relations. Thank you.